Hello viewers, this is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Welcome back to my channel. After uploading the videos on types of correlation and correlation in SPSS, I am here with the new video related to correlation, that is correlation and causation. These two words are often mixed up, but these two terms are really different. As if two variables are related, it is not always true that one variable is causing the other. It means if A is related to B, that does not always imply that A is causing B or B is causing A. Let's understand it. Correlation is statistical significant relationship between two variables X and Y. One of the two variables may or may not cause each other. For example, first case is X causes Y. A second case may be Y causes X. But there can be third case that there is a third variable Z which causes both X and Y. For example, relationship between motivation and performance of students. First case may be motivation may cause performance of students or performance of students leads to their motivation. But there can be third variable that is teachers teaching skills which causes both motivation and performance of students. Now to establish causation, cause and effect relationship between two variables Researcher needs to control all the other variables except that one variable which is cause variable to measure the cause and effect relationship. Researcher can do this in an experimental setting to examine whether X causing Y or not to measure the effect of X on Y. Researcher need to divide the whole sample into two identical groups. This is called experimental design. In experimental design, researcher divide the whole sample into two identical groups. First group is experimental group. Second group is control group. These two groups are identical except the one thing that is treatment. The experimental group will get treatment and the control group will not get any treatment. Example, causation between motivation and performance. I am taking the same example. Here are two groups, experimental group and control group. Here, the students of experimental group will be given motivation, whereas students of control group will not be given any motivation. But rest, all the things are identical, are same in these two groups. Now, after the intervention, if the performance of students in experimental group is better than control group, that means motivation, which is the only factor which is different in these two groups, causes performance. It is clear that there is a cause and effect relationship between motivation and performance of students. So cause and effect relationship is established through experimental design in which researcher manipulated the variable X to measure its effect on variable Y. So basically correlation and causation, the whole structure is different. In correlation, we do not control or manipulate groups or variables. We simply measure their relationship as they are naturally. But in causation, we manipulate or control the variables in an experimental setting and then analyze the data set to interpret cause and effect relationship. There is another example, sugar causes obesity or relationship between sugar and obesity. To find out the correlation between the two variables, researcher needs to randomly pick sample and find the coefficient of correlation through data set, sugar intake in a day and weight of an individual. But to establish causation, Researcher need to divide the whole sample randomly into two identical groups, experimental group and control group. 
experimental group will have treatment. That means people of experimental group will have sugar intake, but people of control group will not have any sugar intake. After the intervention, their weight will be measured and if there will be a difference of any weight, then we can say that sugar causes obesity. As there is no other factor which is affecting obesity, we have controlled all the other factors. There is another example to show correlation does not always imply causation. Example is increase in sale of flight tickets correlates with increase in sale of ice cream. These two variables can cause each other but there can be a third variable which is summer, summer weather. In summer weather people buy more flight tickets due to summer vacations and of course they eat more ice cream due to summer weather. So it is not necessary that A causes B or B causes A. There is a third variable which is C, summer, which causes both A and B. Even if A and B are highly correlated or perfectly correlated. So the concluding point is correlation does not necessarily imply causation. That's all. Thank you.